Hey guys, what's up? Loco here. I've been wanting to do this personal vlog since like last year, but I never got around to it. So here it is. And let's start from there, last year. So sometime last year, I've got a secret job, right? And I didn't get to tell you guys what it was, so... Now I can finally tell you. I worked at a Korean esport agency called AZYT. They rep players in Overwatch, they rep players in League of Legends, and yeah, I personally knew the owner. He asked for my help, and I was helping out part time and decided to work with them full time. So I helped during off season, and eventually the company got investment and wanted to expand into talent agency also. So we expanded into the talent agency and I helped a lot with that part. That's why I ended up moving into Hollywood Hills. As the project kept running, I disagreed a lot with the direction the company was heading regarding the talent department. It just wasn't going the way I thought it would be. So we decided to part ways in late February and I ended up moving in with two of my friends very, very recently. Like, two days ago recently. It was really stressful living in Hollywood. I was far away from most of my friends, I would have to take long ass Ubers to go see them, and also the internet wasn't great at the house so I wasn't able to stream. And yeah, I'm just much happier moving in with friends and being able to stream full time. And let's talk about that, streaming full time. Last year I was doing two episodes of Listen Loco and I wanted to do daily uploads. It was a lot of work and the quality of my work and the quality of my analysis just wasn't where I wanted it to be. Especially when it came to LEC, I wasn't passionate about LEC as I was about LCS and yeah, it just wasn't great work. Working with Thorin and talking to other mentors and creators that I know, it was very clear to me that I need to take pride in my work and I need to put a lot more effort in where I feel satisfactory with the content that I'm putting out. So to do that this year, I decided to drop LEC completely. I still do watch a few games, but my primary league and what my content will be based around is LCS. So I hope you've been enjoying the local recaps. I hope you've been enjoying LLL. I've been trying to make those better and it is a work in progress. So yeah, hope you guys like what I'm putting out there. Also, there's other projects that I want to be involved in this year. I think Valorant is a cool game, but shooters really aren't my thing. But I really did enjoy Auto Chess when it first came out, and the set 3 for TFT looks amazing. So I want to dip my toes into that and really get back into playing TFT more and doing content around TFT more. And I think Wild Rift, the mobile slash console League of Legends that's coming out in the future, is something that I'm really interested in. And while I've always been a serious gamer, I've been way more into esports and competitive gaming, I think there's a lot of potential with Wild Rift. As the game releases, I'll be playing it and digging up information on it and do my best to give you guys the best content possible. So yeah, that's my life update. These are like the projects I have up and coming in 2020. And this is just what's been going on. On a final thought, I think a lot of people are curious about the Golden Guardian situation. And I did say I will make a video on it when my NDA is up. My NDA has officially lifted in early February and I thought a lot about if I want to speak on it or not and the conclusion that I came to was I first thought there was a lot of misunderstanding and misinformation on what happened and there still is to the public but when I talk to people that I know when I talk to people within the esports circle within the LCS circle it seemed like everyone knew the truth of what actually happened and people just weren't blaming me and for the fans that think I sexually harassed someone or did something really outrageous ask yourself would Riot ever give me a media pass if that's exactly what happened? Would other creators still work with me within the scene if that's what happened? So yeah, I still do need to talk about it publicly. I just don't think right now is the best time and I want to be focused on other things, but it is something I will get to. And yeah, that's just all I can tell you guys right now. And that's all I feel comfortable with telling you guys right now. So I'm sorry that I won't be doing the video that I said I would during this time period. So yeah, if there's any questions I haven't answered or things you want to hear more about, let me know and I'll do my best to answer them. And I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Oh, one last thing. I'm not crazy. I'm just local. Bye.